greetings to all in this video we are going to see some of the important definitions in volumetric volume mass weight to volume and specific gravity relationships first we are going to see white ratio white ratio e is defined as the ratio of volume of voids to the volume of solids the formula for white ratio e equal to vv divided by vs generally the white ratio e is expressed in terms of decimal next we are going to see porosity porosity n is defined as the ratio of volume of voids to the total volume the formula for porosity n equal to v v divided by v and also it is expressed in terms of percentage and it is not exceed to 100 percentage the porosity and void ratio are interrelated with each other the relationships are n equal to e divided by 1 plus e and e equal to n divided by 1 minus n next we are going to see degree of saturation Degree of saturation S yes, is the ratio of volume of water to the volume of voids. The formula for degree of saturation S yes, equal to VW divided by VV. Generally it is expressed in terms of percentage. Degree of saturation S yes, is 0 for dry soil and S equal to 100 percentage for fully saturated soil. Next we are going to see percentage of air voids NA. Percentage of air voids is defined as the ratio of volume of air to the total volume Na equal to Va divided by V It is generally expressed as percentage Next we are going to see air content Air content AC is defined as the ratio of volume of air to the volume of voids AC equal to Va divided by Vv it is usually expressed in terms of percentage. For a fully saturated soil, VA equal to 0. For dry soil, VA equal to 100. And also NA equal to N into AC. Always air content is less than NA. Next we are going to see water content. Water content W is defined as the ratio of mass of water to mass of solids. And also it is defined in other ways the ratio of weight of water to the weight of solids. Water content W equal to MW divided by MS. It is also known as moisture content. It is always expressed in terms of percentage but it is used as a decimal for computations. Next we are going to see volume mass relationships. First we will see bulk density rho. Bulk mass density rho is defined as total mass per unit total volume. The formula for bulk density rho equal to m divided by v. It is expressed in terms of kilogram per meter cube or milligram per meter cube next we are going to see dry mass density rho d the dry mass density rho d is defined as mass of solids per unit total volume rho d equal to m d divided by v next we are going to see saturated density rho sat the saturated density is the bulk mass density of soil when it is fully saturated the formula for saturated density rho sat equal to m sat divided by v. Next we are going to see submerged density. When the soil exists below water, it is submerged conditions. When a volume of V of soil is submerged in water, it, it displaces an equal volume of water. Submerged density rho dash is equal to rho sat minus rho w. Next we are going to see density of solids. Density of solids is equal to the ratio of mass of solids to the volume of solids. 
rho s equal to m s divided by v s next we are, we are going to see volume weight relationship first we will see bulk unit weight gamma bulk unit weight is defined as total weight per unit total volume that is gamma equal to w divided by v the bulk unit weight is also known as the total unit weight that is gamma t it is always expressed in terms of newton per meter cube or kilonewton per meter cube next we are going to see dry unit weight gamma d it is defined as the weight of soil solids per unit volume that is gamma d equal to ws divided by v saturated unit weight the saturated unit weight is bulk unit weight when the soil is fully saturated Generally, it is defined as the weight of saturated soil solids to the unit total value, that is gamma sat equal to W sat divided by V. Next, we will see submerged unit weight gamma dash. It is defined as the submerged unit weight per unit total value. Gamma dash equal to W sub divided by V. And also gamma dash equal to gamma sat minus gamma w. Next we will see unit weight of soil solids gamma s. The unit weight of solids gamma s is equal to the ratio of weight of solids to the total value. The formula for unit weight of soil solids gamma s equal to w s divided by v s. Next we will see the definitions of specific gravity of solids g first we will see the specific gravity the specific gravity of solid particles is defined as the ratio of the mass of given volume of solids to the mass of an equal volume of water at 4 degree celsius the formula for specific gravity g equal to rho s divided by rho w or gamma s divided by gamma w Generally, the specific gravity of solids for most natural soil is in the range of 2.65 to 2.8. The rho W is equal to 100 kg per meter cube or 1 mg per meter cube. Next, we will see mass specific gravity or apparent specific gravity or bulk specific gravity. Generally, it is defined as the ratio of mass density of soil to the mass density of water. It is expressed in a symbol of Gm. The formula for mass specific gravity Gm equal to rho divided by rho w. Next, we will see absolute specific gravity or true specific gravity. If all the internal voids of the particles are excluded from the determination of the true volume of solids, then the specific gravity is called as absolute or true specific gravity. Generally, it is expressed in a symbol of Ga. The formula for absolute specific gravity Ga equal to rho s divided by rho w into a. Next, we will see density index. It is also known as relative index. It is varies from 0 to 1. Density index ID is equal to E max minus E divided by E max minus E minimum. E max equal to white ratio in loosest state. E minimum equal to white ratio in densest state. E equal to natural voids ratio of deposits. When the natural state of cohesionless soil is in the densest state form, E equal to E minimum and hence density index is equal to 1. The relative density lies 0 to 15 means it is very loose soil and the relative density lies in between 15 to 35 means loose soil. The relative density lies 35 to 65 means it is a medium type of soil. The relative density 65 to 85 means it is dense soil and relative density 85 to 100 means 
it is very dense soil thank you for watching this video thank you